Yes, this is my second time to get to come. Yes, it's a Teen Challenge uh, USA. Yes. Uh, featuring uh, Teen Challenge Rwanda. Will you just give us a brief biography about Teen Challenge for the for the lay Rwandan who's just seeing you for the first time? What is Teen Challenge? Absolutely. Well, Teen Challenge is a um, it is a safe haven. It is a place for people where they can go who need help. Uh, people who have been on drugs, people who have. For me personally, we do adolescents, so we do teenagers, so it's a, it's a place for those to come when they just need a little bit of help and a little bit of guidance to get off of drugs, to be able to, to recover, to take them from a road that's taken them down a really bad road and help them to readjust what they're doing and their mindset. Yeah, uh, for uh, last year we saw you, you, you're here partnering with our Teen Challenger, uh -huh. Randa on the same cause. What keeps you going? Sometimes, uh, some, sometimes you feel like giving up on a certain project, but what keeps you going? Like, uh, this is a second year for you coming in Rwanda. Uh, for coming to Rwanda, what keeps me going? Yeah. Um, this country is absolutely made a huge impact on my heart personally. Um, I love this country. Uh, I coming here last year was one of the greatest things that I've ever gotten to do. I made friends here. I saw my students' lives changed. Um, I have one student that literally came back from doing what we did over here last year and completely turned her life around from drugs and and all the things that she was doing and self-harming herself and all those things. And and that's the reason why. You keep doing what you're doing. All right. Maybe we'll have a word from uh, Pastor Willie, but maybe still uh, with you. Uh, last year, we, we guess you had a few, some achievements that you, you really attained out of the outreaches you did. What should the Rwandan people expect from you this time around? Is there anything so special about this visit? Absolutely. We have faced everything you could think of trying to get here. And I believe with every ounce of my being, it's because God is going to transform people's lives. We have worked, these, these young people have, have worked weeks with a skit that we'll be doing that, that's all about giving yourself away, or taking drugs out of your life and removing it and allowing the Lord to come into your life and heal your life. Uh, Last year was wonderful. We saw such amazing things with getting to help with even building the house, you know, getting to help with the mud house or or going to the hospital and praying over people and, uh, you know, just such, there's so many things that happened and I personally believe that it is going to be well above the expectation of even what we saw last year. I believe that lives are going to be transformed. I believe that this event that we are all going to be involved in is absolutely absolutely ordered of God and I believe that people's lives that are going down a bad road with drugs and and all of those things that they've allowed themselves to be stuck in are going to be set free yeah uh, okay would you also tell us about the journey you've gone with this initiative uh, which success story do you have to share with Rwandans from the last year Mm -hmm. And which success story would you share with our viewers? Okay, so a success story from last year. Yes. Um, I would say the the one that I apologize. The one that comes to mind to me is um, when we we went to uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was where the after school program was, mm -hmm. and there was a young man that was there, and uh, I still remember his name. I'm. I hope I get to see him again. Uh, he was a teenager. Uh, sometimes we find ourselves really drawn to the small children and, and the teenagers were standing off to the side. And I walked over to, to him and, and a friend and just started getting to know them and talking to them and laughing with them. And uh, just, just the fact that I was able to open that door where we had to leave and come back and when I stepped off the bus, they immediately came to me and allowed me to speak into their lives and to, to love on them. And that's a success story because it starts right there. 
it starts with people seeing that you love them and that you want to have a relationship with them even though I had to leave you know I, I've never forgot him I've never stopped praying for him and just seeing the joy that he had of, of a connection uh, that that was an amazing moment that was an amazing moment Thank you. Um, maybe as we get to the end, uh, in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, when a youth, a young man or a young lady takes drugs, mm -hmm. they are referred to as uh, Ichirala, like, th they see you as someone who has lost it all and uh, will never regain. But uh, you've, you, you have young people and I've listened to their testimonies, mo uh, some of them, mm -hmm. and uh, I see most of them have changed. What message do you have for, for some parents who think their children have uh, maybe uh, because of drugs they'll never they can never get back to course they can never chase their dreams again which message can you convey to them there's always hope there's hope uh, in Christ Jesus there's hope in surrendering their lives there's hope there's people around them that will love them and walk with them and it won't be an easy journey uh, but to that parent don't give up and that not everybody looks at people who have walked with drugs and done those things they're they're not they're not forgotten they're not unrepairable they they can they can they can be repaired and turn all of that over and be healed and walk away from drugs for the rest of their lives thank you so much you. and maybe we get uh, to to the head of uh, team challenge Rwanda pastor Willie, mm -hmm. who is actually the person who has uh, championed the team challenge, uh, team challenge pro uh, projects ever since pastor Willie, um getting back to you this is the second time you're hosting uh, these people mm -hmm. when the partnership nawe but why team challenge Nitwa Pastor Willy Rumenera, the director of Team Challenge Rwanda, the executive director of Team Challenge East Africa. The Kundu Yumuri Mochani, the Muhammad Garuda Sanswe, Iyo Urebze Neza Abana Vita Abana Vivirara, Yango I Fashe Yuza Genge, Uruguana Uvugaku Shaka Gufasha Abana Vivirara. Ni 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 kintu ba wa sins ko. Ari kutoke tu bana mo aba na bacho. Tu bana mo aba kuba bacho. Tu kumba kurwa ni dira. Kani tu bana kuga. Tu fiti bzi ringiro tu mazekubi bana. Aba da shobo ikubo ni bzi ringiro. Ibzi ringiro biza la sanga hobadi. Hari bamo ba shaki bzi ringiro. Hari na wandi tu zahi bzi ringiro. Ni yomba mbu tu pata na na aba ni Amerika. Ba mazimi ya kamiro ngi tanda tu bakora. Bafite experience ni kuri tuko ni bintu bishasha mu Rwanda bitugwiriye ariko ubwo babimaze mu myaka ni myaka rero dukoresha experience yabo n'ubuhamya bwabo kuvuga ngo duhe nabana b'abanyarwanda ibyiringiro imutwinjize noneho muri ibi bikorwa ubukangura mbaga bikorwa gute kuko na leta y'u Rwanda yahagurukiye ibyo byo byenge nubuhe mwihariko muri team challenge mu gufata umaringa nabo nubuhe buryo nubuhe mwihariko kandi ko mwihariko mu buryo bwo kugira ngo bitangwe umusarushije Uhusu gaka bili ini grupe isha riko haza ma grupe meishi. Kwa kwa zimi ya kamishi. Umiha riko dufite. Kwebe. Nuko mbere na mbe. Tuwanza kugarura inda agaga chiri ya famili. Umurgyako. Uziko droge yangiri zo murgyako. So iyo umurgyango wabaye dysfunction. Iyo droge ya irangiri zili mutos. Tukwetura shaka kukira ba na bacho. Garuki, who are Mucho Wacho, looking at one, Wokuba Homogan, Wokuba Havazi, Wokuba Kumvida, Abadu, Abadu for the Zibzis. Ichaka, the Tubagira, yes. Uko, yes, now a Garurinda and Gagachi, you would yam. Yo, umun to your kishish, you umun to your many years. Biria be some gabzos. Biba Fasi, the Chango Biro, Kubiko, Biriko, Nero, Nio to Shaka Kubigarura, to Gira si iwa wagusa turemere iwa wakiza sumuti gusaba gutera ariko nubushake bwa nabwo bushobora kugukiza so natwe dufite programme tushira abana umwaka wose tubigisha imasaka bagakira tukabaha indanga gaciro tukaba tukabafasha bakabifata dukora muri prevention 
urumva abantu benshi bari mu biyo bya bwenge barashaka ibyiringiro byo kubivamo ariko nanone aba badufasha kuja muri prevention tuja mu bigo bya mashuri tuja mu sengero tuzakora concert tariki 18 kuri Betsaida yo kubwira abandi batarabijamo somebody must stop that kuvuga ngo tiduhore tusubira kuko hagomba kugira ati njewe nabigiye mu byangi ze hingaruka mbi umwana w'ubwenge yumvira so in nayo ni prevention so iyo dukora muri ibi dukora muri prevention tukakora muri rehabilitation tukakora no muri reintegration so ibi byose byadufasha urakoze cyane